Hello everyone, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Through this channel, we are trying to provide you exclusive content which will save you time. Okay, so let's get started. In today's discussion, we are exactly working on three things. First one is e-bonding integration using SOAP Web Services. And finally, we are dealing with XML parsing. Okay. So here is the requirement integration of two ServiceNow instances and update the incident table from one instance to another. So these are our two ServiceNow instances. Using web service that is SOAP web service, we will try to communicate between these two instances and import the data from incident table of this one to this one. Okay, so let me start with SOAP messages that is the web service. We have to go in the SOAP message outbound. I already created one record for you. This is uh, you see here. This is our second instance. Let me open it. So here basically you need two things. First one is visual of the second instance. That is this instance. 95794. 95794. As we are working on incident table. So you see the visual of incident table here. Let me open the incident table. So how to get the visual? It's basically the XML. Okay. Uh, so here after list or two just write visual enter you see so you see this is the visual document it will provide you certain functions through which we can interact with this uh, incident table functions like update insert just to insert a new record delete multiple so n number of uh, functions are there so the same visual you see here It is the same visual which has been downloaded once I added a visual URL here. And in order to reach into that instance, we have created one basic authentication profile. Okay. Uh, it is nothing but uh, the user ID and password of this particular instance so that uh, once we create a request, it will easily log in into this and fetch the record. So this is the authentication which we have used. Let me show you a fresh one so that it will be more clear to you. Test. Here we have to provide the visual. So copy this. Paste it here. Lock it. Authentication type basic. And let's open the one which we have created. Basic auth. Just save it. So now you see this deleted link. Once you click this link, it will automatically download the visual from the second instance by using this basic authentication. So let's click here. You see the message, SOAP message is generated. So this is the visual. The whole body of visual is here. And here you see uh, these are the basic functions which are available or which are authorized, you can say by this instance okay so just remove this let's come back to this one uh, let me open one of the function and show you how it work uh, so let's say get function you see this is the xmn envelope it is basically the request which will be sent from this instance to the second one okay so at the bottom, you see we have provided one value here. This is the sys ID of one of the incident from our source table. Source table is this one. Let me open this and see if an incident of that sys ID exists or not. Okay. So yes, we have an incident here that is in the source table. So now let's test it. Once I clicked on test, so this is the request XML and this is the response which we got and it is of 200 status. It means it is a success. So let's see what we get. Click on this, maximize it. And you see the same incident details. 
incident 9009 okay so we are getting the value in the same way you can use all other functions so let's open get records where we are getting more than one record so here also you see we have added a condition active equal to true it means we will get all the incident from the source table which are active in the same way if you want to add more filters uh, you can do so just add the name of the field and the value like this okay okay now let's test it so again this is the request and this is the response of 200 status it means it's a success let's see what this xml has okay so you see this xml is having more than one record which are satisfying our condition so basically each record is in this particular node get records result okay every incident is under one node that is get records result so this is how you can check you can perform an e-bonding but the main challenge is how to automate this so in order to do so we have to do this via script and in the form of a schedule job so that it will run automatically so to do so you see here under every function we have a script option you can auto generate the script here just click on preview script usage and it will provide you the basic body of your script by which you send the request and get the response in the form of xml okay i already have a schedule job ready for you so now we are at the final phase where we have to write a schedule job and run it accordingly according to the requirement but here we have to do a complete parsing of xml record so that we get the record get the value from the xml and update the tables so in this script we are using get records function so what we are doing in that script we are basically parsing this giant xml so first of all we have to understand this xml properly and then we will try to write a script so let's go to our script so this is the basic one which we have copied from the function from here preview script usage in response body we are storing the complete xml document now go at line 7 we are creating an xml object and using parse xml this is a built-in function we are converting the response body variable which is of string type into a complete xml object so now this xml doc object is having the complete xml which we get as a response as we know that get record result node is having our incident data one by one so so in line 11 we are running a while loop it means it is traversing all get record result nodes once we are inside get record result node we have again a child node see here under get record result we have these child nodes these child nodes are nothing but the fields with the values okay so in line number 13 we are storing the next child load into this variable under line number 15 we are checking if child load has anything so yes we have something we have the name of the fields then in line number 18 we are using get node name this function will provide the name of the node that is the name of the field okay and then get text content it means the content of that node so you see here if child node name is number that is uh, this one the name of the node that is name of the field is number i am storing its content into number variable so here i am doing it for only number you can use you can use it for any number of field just remember get node name is the name of the field and get text content is the value of that field so my action is defined in line number 23 where I am checking if it is of short description then I am picking the content of that short description going to incident table finding 
that table using the number which I have collected from here and updating the short description. Okay. So here at the last, I'm just iterating the very first two because you know we are traversing the node called get record result. It is going to the next one one by one. So this is the complete code. You can modify the code according to your need. But this is the fundamental way to pass an XML document using script. So now it's the time to check whether it is working or not. Okay, let me check here. Let me open the incident table. So let me update the values. Okay, so this is our source table. I have updated two incidents here. Let me try to run that particular job. Execute now. Okay, so now let's see if the records are updated or not. So this is the table here. Let's refresh it. Uh, just short by updated. So here you see two records are updated with the same short description. Testing it now for rebonding, and the same records are here. So this is the way we do integration. We do uh, parse XML documents and update the records. So I hope things are more clear to you now in terms of SOAP, in terms of parsing an XML document and in terms of e-bonding. If you have any query, please let us know in the comment section and subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, mark it helpful in the wiki. See you in next video. Till then, bye bye.